Think of blood glucose, or BG, and continuous glucose monitoring, or CGM, like the cars on a roller coaster. BG is at the front of the roller coaster, and CGM is at the back, because when glucose is absorbed, it enters the bloodstream first before it flows into the interstitial fluid where CGM glucose is measured. When the roller coaster track is flat and glucose is holding steady, the BG and CGM glucose measurements match fairly closely. The hills on the roller coaster track reflect rises in glucose levels throughout a day. When you eat a meal, the blood glucose begins to rise first, and the CGM glucose lags a bit behind as glucose flows from the blood into the interstitial fluid. Going downwards on the roller coaster track is analogous to glucose levels dropping during the day. Giving insulin causes the blood glucose to drop first, followed by decreases in the interstitial glucose. When blood glucose rises very rapidly, like after eating a meal high in simple carbohydrates, there will be an even bigger difference between blood glucose and CGM glucose. When blood glucose drops rapidly, as can occur with exercise, there will also be a greater difference between blood glucose and CGM glucose.